All right, so right now we're gonna be unboxing this battery relocation kit I got off of eBay. Uh, I'm not sh I don't remember what the brand is, but I'll, I'll put it up in the description. It's a random bolt. And then the kit I got comes with the battery box already. I'm guessing this is the top. Oh, everything's on, on the, in the box already. Camco is the box, I believe. That's the box that they provided. But that's not the brand itself. The brand is... Right there, Endless Wiring. That's the kit I bought. So we're gonna try to put this on today. Oh, so they have everything like hooked up for it already too. It's pretty cool. So they have this going in. This goes into probably the... Oh, there's still some more stuff. So you got your terminals, I believe these are called. Two of them. This thing is gonna go on like that. And this is the. I forgot what it's called. But this is gonna go like in the engine bay. It's pretty nice wiring. So right now I'm warming up the Integra. Bring it inside here and work on it. So let's walk over to the Integra, bring it inside. So this relocation kit's only gonna be for the battery itself, not for, I think you can get a kit for the fuse box as well. But this is, I just wanna move the battery because I'm gonna get a new cash can set up soon. And I'm gonna get the big one that goes, that replaces where the battery sits. start off from the trunk and do the battery last just in case I have to move the car for some reason but look at this I have a whole pool and put the flash on so you can kind of see I have like a whole pool up back here I don't know how so I gotta figure that out That's all from the inside. Let's clean this up first. know why it's doing that put it in the comments let me know if I can fix it I don't know if it could have been from the tail lights gasket I'm not sure but it was all the way over here let's see what it it's like there's something I'm not sure honestly but yeah it's nothing new over here is pretty dry. Usually it would leak from over there as well, but this time it's from the passenger side. Let's just leave this here and we'll continue. All right, so far what I've done, so this was already pre-installed and all I did was get this wire, which was inside the box. I hooked it up here so it could complete this contraption circuit thing. And then this is the longest wire, so this is gonna, I'm guessing this is the one that's gonna go 
well obviously all the way to the front and connect into the fuse box either the fuse box or to this so let me keep going and, and we'll find out all right so we do have this correctly set up so i'm gonna just put this away and then this goes to this so we'll open it up and then i'll put it through the top this Sign it up and then I'll get the tools right now so the tool should be a 10. Is it a 10? Might be a 12. Pause it. Alright, so it's a 12. So I'm gonna switch it. <laughs> Alright, so now I have the ground with the terminal set up as well. And then we have the power cable over there, routing it through right there. Pretty easy when you're gutted. If you have the interior, I don't know how you do it, but this is how we're doing it. So just feeding it through. Got it over there, and then right there, right there is fine. Have the battery like right here. I mean the ground. I think I'll ground it right there, so that will work out pretty good. Yeah, or right here as well, right here, or right here. I ground it one of those. Most likely this one because it has threads. So I'll do that. We have the cable over there now. So now I'm going to pass it through like the carpet, like if you were to be doing like a subwoofer setup for like power wire and all that stuff, I'm going to be routing it the same way. So now I'm going to show you from where through the hood. Put my camera down for a little bit. So I'm going to be bringing the wires through that little plug right there, right there. And that's where I'm going to be running the wires from, bringing it over here. All right, so I have it pretty hidden right now. You can see the wire right there. It's going under this, uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's going on under this big bracket, like just following the original wires going through here have it up to here so far now I have to route it this way and make it go up so let me do that right now all right so we took off the battery and we're taking off the battery tray right now and then I took off the little plug as I was saying try to make a little hole it's not really working well it's there but we'll see how it goes you can see there. Taking out the tray right now. And then it's off. Makes it easier to work with. And now we are going to. I'm going to try to route the power wire up to the engine bay. Put this here. Make sure it doesn't hit. Just in case. All right. All right, so change the plans. The move is you fish it down first instead of starting from the back and coming up because to get the wire up is gonna be, it's gonna, it's gonna be pretty hard. So bring the long wire, put it down first and then run it all through the back. So you can see I fished it down and it's all here now. And then, so now I could go back and connect it to the box instead of connecting it to the box and going forward. That's harder. So yeah, start from the engine bay and wire back. That's what we're gonna do.
All right, so I already tested to see if it starts, but let me show you guys on video so I could just end it off like this. Okay, so right now it's not getting power, right? And I know exactly why. So that's pretty cool. Kind of acts like a kill switch. So you open it up, put the phone down. 
this little thing back here. Let's just put it down. And that should be good. I wonder if my kill switches still work with it. So let me put mine. Yeah, mine work with it. So it should turn on everything right here. Yep. There you go. The only the only problem I had with the kit is there was no um there was nothing for the ABS wire. I didn't I never thought of that. I never I never even knew about that, but yeah, there's a ABS wire that runs from the little ABX fuse box to the to the power terminal which now I don't have and didn't reach so I'm gonna have to probably make my own or see reread like the description maybe they forgot to include it but other than that ABS problem if you don't have ABS this kit is perfect if you do then you might have to run ABS for a little bit without it or just make your own little wire and connect it to to the I'll put the the name on the screen right now because I forgot the name but yeah as you see here everything's good box is back there all i need to do is secure it so we'll move around and that's it this is where i'm gonna end off this video later